So, everybody's worried right now because we have a red warning across the entire country as Storm Eunice comes down on us. Now, it's the power loss that people are worrying about. And I don't know if you remember this. It's a, a tricycle we were sent to electrify, and we did exactly that. And um, since we got the e-bikes, it hasn't been used much. But in the previous video, where we took a 120 watt motor and got 40 watts out of it by hand cranking it, of course, I immediately. I'm going to do this. this trike is the same thing that you would do with a bicycle and we'll point out some of the difference as we go through but the first thing to do with this is obviously stabilize it we either need to remove the wheels and put it on something but I still like to use it as a trike so we want a good solid frame that it can sit in just to lift the wheels off the ground a little bit so as I pedal it doesn't send me forward and what we've got I found in a scrap bin of course and this is what we've got it's an old pipe bender, so it's a broken pipe bender, but it still has a nice frame. So what we're going to do is cut that up and make it into a frame. Okay, so we've cut out the bits we want, which is pretty much nothing more than the bottom legs and the top angles. And of course, what we need to do now is weld them. So we're going to weld that on there, that on there, and we get our angle frame. So let's get it welded up. That's it welded together. I put a couple of half pipes on there that I got from a bit of scaffold tube. Because the bike's going to sit on those and that's going to be the space for the gears. Obviously if you're doing a bike instead of a trike then the bike wheel needs to be far enough apart so you can get it in there and not foul the gears, gears and that's what that does. So now we can put the bike up. Now it would be awesome if we could just bolt a motor onto this. Unfortunately the gear ratio on a bike just isn't enough. You won't get enough bolts out of it, enough power out of it because the gear ratio is rubbish. However, if you remember video 1436, we actually made this thing. Now, um, when it was in 1436, it had a handle on it. I've chopped up the handle, given it a bigger motor. We put it in place. We can put a cog on here and drive this directly because this has another gearbox on it and we'll get a better gear ratio. So remember, this was just the hand crank generator from video um, 1436. All we've done is chop off the handle here and weld a bike sprocket onto the other side of the handle there. What that means is we can just drop the whole generator onto the bicycle frame and loop a chain between the last sprocket on the gear cluster and the new sprocket we just welded on. So when we cycle, we've got it more or less one-to-one -one here. So it'll give us roughly the same output unless we change these gears here and the other five gears are available to us to change so we can still change gear. At the end of the crisis of course all you do is slip off the chain, lift that off and you've made no modifications to your bicycle or tricycle so it's completely usable as a bicycle and tricycle again. But at 40 watts which is what we'll get from this at a leisurely pace, more or less. You can charge a phone, you can charge some batteries, and it becomes a really usable uh, emergency generator for doing those kind of things. To a degree, this is getting to be our usual setup. I've got a load here, which is an LED lighting bank. The meter's right there. I've got the uh, camera in front of the mirror meter. So let's start that recording and see what I can actually do. There you go, it's lighting that light, no problem. And to be honest, reasonably effortlessly. And we're getting about 14 volts out of it. I, I really could keep this up for ages. But so from something like this, you've got to remember the power out. It's got little to do with the machinery, actually. The machinery helps you capture it and translate it into electrical energy. The power out is the power in your legs. So most people have got about 120, 140 watts in them, and athletes got about 160 to 200 watts. So the output you can expect from this is somewhere around about 120 watts or so. And you can expect that because of your leg power. The rest is efficiency in the translation, but it's you that supplies the power. That's why something like a hand crank generator is going to max out around about 40 to 60 watts because that's what you've got in your arms. Something like this is going to max out at about 160 watts because that's what you've got in your legs. You can't get more out than there is in there. Now you're going to be cycling it so you're the power source and you can produce that amount of power. The rest of it is really to do with the really efficiency. Nice about this actually is the effort required is obviously a lot less than the hand crank generator we did which took a bit of armor strength. This is using your legs so it's so much easier. The other thing is it's easy. 
to adapt a bicycle to produce something that's well capable of charging your phone or charging your battery so you can have emergency power but the, you don't have to damage the bicycle to do that you basically what we did was set it on a frame put in an auxiliary chain attach that to a motor or a gearbox and motor and we were able just to lash those onto the bicycle if you put a little effort in obviously you put it in that sort of box so you lash them on and then pedal away till you've got what you want, remove everything and you've got yourself still perfectly normal working cycle. So it's something that can be put onto a bicycle really easily. Now you could of course use the same principle as a dynamo and stick something on the tyre but that's not going to give you as good a result because we're using the gearing here and that gearing is going to translate our torque in the legs into speed of the motor and of course generation is a function of speed number of turns of wire and strength of magnetic field. So if we can get speed into it, we can generate more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.